I don't have everything working, but this will be my first video clip here in Armenia. So, just taking a look at one of the malls. Notice the casinos. This is a three, four story mall. And there's some coffee. I'm here early. They opened it up, uh, but the stores aren't open for another half an hour. And I'll show you pretty much what they do with the space here. There's just a community exercise slash yoga thing going on. So, I have a ton of video work to do over this next week. So I'll get back to you. Okay, here's the entrance to this mall. There's several around town. And I'm gonna get run over here. And this is uh, slightly on the north side of town. It's not up with the with the huge buildings, with the uh, endless apartments and condos, but uh, it's, it's where it begins. Over there, you're gonna see Texas. It's Texas Burgers. It's a chain here. It's really, really good. I did a video of, uh, well, it's actually in two videos that I did on my previous trip to Columbia that took place in a different location. Of course, it wouldn't be uh, Earth if it wasn't for a KFC everywhere. It's a pretty typical day of Armenia pretty much every time I've ever been here. It's almost 10 o'clock and it's about 70 degrees. Not a lot of direct sun because if you notice, there's a lot of clouds. So it's extremely comfortable. It's uh, not chilly at all. You see the way people dress? It'll get warmer. It'll probably get up maybe as high as 78. There's something I never had here before. This, this is a Bunuelo, which I've had. They're generally round. But this is one for breakfast. And it's, you can see it's got a... Uh, caramel spread around the outside. Look yummy. Okay, I've got my uh, flaky bunuelo kind of thing. And there is some on the inside. And my mochaccino. And this is about a dollar ten cents. Unlike places like Kali, in Armenia, I have never experienced anything uh, like gringo pricing. Uh, I just don't think it exists here. It's probably because there's virtually no gringos. And the other aspect is the population of Colombia is, is quite mixed. And Armenia is a, a prime example of that, where there's people from all over Colombia that live here. It's a, It's a... It's a favored place. And as a result, you have a lot of people that are my height or taller, that have blonde hair, blue eyes, but they're Colombian. So as a gringo, you don't stand out. I mean, they assume that you're from here. Uh, as a matter of fact, I walk up to people here that can speak English, but they automatically speak Spanish and then realize they can use their English as soon as they hear how bad my Spanish is. So uh, I think it's pretty tough for them to just kind of say, oh, there's a gringo, let me, let me go get a price and yeah. Um, if it exists here, I've just never seen it and I've been here a multitude of times. So I don't know, it's nice to be just one of the people and not be preyed upon by every vendor. Well, you might find this interesting. Check out this bar. Maria Juana, not marijuana, Maria Juana. 
cute. They got all the good stuff here. <clears throat> Notice the DJI Phantom, but they also have the new teeny tiny DJI. Um, you can't get these in in Cuenca, but here they're readily available and they're U.S. price. And a bunch of Chinese drones too. How about some teeny tiny drones? Look how little these are. This would be a pretty convenient place to live. There's apartments or condos right across the street from this mall with uh, gated security. Although crime really is an issue in this town, but uh, that's pretty handy. Right down there is a bakery, and of course we got this huge supermarket here. It's like a super maxi plus. Oh, and I went through, I walked through, and I didn't do the video because it would have taken, it would have been a very long video, but I checked out prices of things that I typically would buy in Super Maxi that typically run me about $120. And here, um, after I did the exchange, those same items um, were around $80, give or take on any given day. So it's uh, significant savings. Not to mention the items they had in there that um, I haven't seen in three years. Okay, now the mall has become a synagogue. Uh, it's a Jewish program. Correction, I haven't been in this mall before. So after exploring, I realized that the fourth floor there is actually parking. And then there's a fifth and there's a sixth down there. <clears throat> So, it's three floors of mall. And three floors of parking. So I hope that's clear as mud for you. And I'm in the mall waiting for Movie Star. I put a SIM card in and it's not working. And so, I, the, for some reason on Sunday, they don't open until 12. And so they can fix my phone and I have service. <clears throat> Being in the very heart of coffee country, there's no shortage of great coffee. Uh, we got Juan Valdez, it's a chain throughout, and you've probably seen it bagged up in the grocery stores. It's somehow better tasting here than there. But you've got Cafe Quindillo. Uh, the name of this province is Quindío, and it's where the finest coffee in the world comes from. I know some will argue, oh, it's Hawaiian. Nah, not to my taste. And there's a whole bunch of coffee shops throughout. There's even a Dunkin' Donuts down on the other end. Another correction. I said that this was a Jewish gathering. That was because their handout is half written in Hebrew and the other half in Spanish. I have no idea why it's in Hebrew, but it's actually a Catholic service. They do love their Jeeps here. I've seen a bunch of them and they keep them very nice. Uh, Jeeps are treasured. I kind of like seeing all these Jeeps. Now, some people watching this video won't find this interesting at all, but you see you've got scooters here, a ton of motorbikes, but that one on the left is a Yamaha, the one on the right is a Suzuki. In Cuenca, you see mostly Chinese. Here, you see mostly Honda, Yamaha, Suzuki, 
uh, actual brand name, you'll occasionally see Chinese. First of all, they don't have the huge import tax, so they're normal priced. Second of all, they'll pay double or triple for a brand bike because the Chinese bikes just don't last, and these bikes last forever. Now, this came right from a friend who lives here, and I asked, why? Why don't they go for the cheap ones? And he said, because cheap isn't cheap. Didn't realize because I never really thought about it. <clears throat> but credit cards, you see on the door there, you see on that door, you see on that door, all the way through the mall and around town have become commonplace and you can apply for credit in pretty much every store. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing, but it's what it is. So oh, there's a sale on the phones. Two for one, smartphones. Prices, yeah, they're okay. Uh, J5 Prime, it's about $180. In Cuenca, it's about $220. And here, the Galaxy S8, that is about $700, a little more maybe. But if you need two, that's quite appetizing two brand new Galaxy S8s and if you get two of them for a little over $700 that makes it one hell of a bargain. So I ordered a hamburger with lettuce and tomato, yucca fries and a limonada, a limeade and it's $5.86 in dollars and um, as soon as it comes out of the charcoal smoker there, I'll show it to you. Yeah, I meant to mention there are leash laws here. You don't see any street dogs at all. And every dog I've seen has been on a leash. Also don't see any poo on the streets. So that's all pretty nice. That's why I have my coffee this morning. Okay, here's my lunch. Hamburger, lettuce, tomato, fly, and limonada, yucca fries. I chose to be outside, <clears throat> so I really can't complain too much about that. It's the only table out here. A ton of tables inside, it's a big place. It's Parque de la Vida. Okay, stop to grab some lunch. This is a chorizo platter, and that's a lemonade and cocoa, and it's three dollars and seventy-five cents. You know you could.